Hmm, strawberries. The sweet juice that breaks out as you bite down on its firm, fleshy pulpiness. Whether it's with whipped cream or custard or chocolate sauce, you can't have enough of the strawberry. Thanks to advancements in technology, strawberries can be cultivated all year round. What is it about hydroponic strawberries farming that makes it so cool? Are hydroponic strawberries better than naturally grown ones? What is the equipment required to set up hydroponic strawberry farming? Join us as we discuss everything on the awesome hydroponic strawberries farming. Now, strawberries that are hydroponically grown were grown in a container without any soil. Instead, a soilless substrate and a nutrient-rich fluid are used to grow them. That means you can harvest directly when it's ready. Also note that different plants can be grown in the same system. For instance, strawberries can be grown alongside herbs and lettuce. But not all crops can be grown this way. So what species of strawberries can be grown hydrophonically? There are about 1500 species of strawberry, but experts and seasoned gardeners single out a number of species that thrive exceptionally well with this technology. They are Mara de Bois, Albion, Seascape, Quainalt, and Tribute. Prepping the hydrophonic system. But before you even begin planting anything, you should set up a hydrophonic system. There are three main systems we should take into account when selecting a hydrophonic system for growing strawberries. One is the ebb and flow system. The majority of hydrophonic strawberry growers use this technique. It entails setting a timer to control how frequently water is pushed into the tray or container used for growing your plants and nutritional solution. Every few seconds, hours, or even days are possible. The pump cycles on and off so that the strawberry roots can absorb the most nutrients possible, decreasing the amount of water that remains standing in the throughs where your strawberries are grown. You must keep an eye on when this occurs and exercise control over it by modifying timers as necessary. Pumps are also necessary because all you have to do is fill the container with water and nutritional solution. There is no equipment needed. And strawberries, of course. However, that necessitates routine inspection for leaks. Hydrophonic drip system. Although there is some initial outlay required, this method is also comparatively simple to set up. A timer and pump are required. You can order these online or get them from a nearby hydrophonics retailer. Regularly maintaining this type of hydrophonic strawberry producing system, so be careful not to be lured in by less expensive kits. Nutrient Film Technique Nutrient Film Technique, or NFT, involves growing plants in a container with nutrient solution. The top of the tank is where the plants are. It always has some water flowing through it, ensuring that nutrients are always available. You must manually pump the liquid onto the film at regular intervals so that it can drip back down again and keep in order for this to function properly. The drawback is that it requires more space for growing than other methods because you need pots or throughs for strawberries and water. Additionally, a pump is required to maintain proper liquid flow. It's important to note that NFT is only suggested for growers at the commercial level due to its high initial setup cost. We've looked at the types of hydrophonic systems. What's the best way to plant the strawberries? Planting your strawberries. This process is quite simple. With the growing medium of your choice, fill the net pots halfway. After carefully inserting your plant's roots, which you should have completely cleaned, Fill the container with water until the top is full. What type of growing medium should I use? As for the growing medium, this is one element of hydrophonically growing a strawberry plant that is crucial to comprehend. The growing medium serves as a substrate through which the roots of the plant extend to stabilize its position while taking up nutrients from the solution above. Strawberries should be grown on substrate with a 15% porosity since they required sufficient aeration. Grow stones, clay pebbles, coconut coir, and rock wool are typical materials. There are also a ton of other growing medium options. 
fertilizing your hydrophonic strawberries. You should never forget to do this since strawberries require a lot of nutrients to thrive and produce fruit. However, hydrophonics does not require the nutrient-rich soil that soil-grown plants require. To make sure your strawberry plant receives all the nutrient it needs, you must find a good fertilizer. You may decide whether you want organic or chemical fertilizer and what form you want it in when choosing the right hydrophonic fertilizers for strawberries. It's better to use a liquid fertilizer that's simple to add into your reservoir to make things simple for newcomers. In this manner, you may more easily manage the fertilizer requirements of your plants. Make sure you use chemical fertilizer that is especially made for hydrophonic use when using fertilizers. This is due to the fact that plants cultivated without soil don't often respond well to general-purpose chemical fertilizers like those you may get at a hardware store. But when it comes to organic hydrophonic nutrients for strawberries, things become a little more difficult. This is due to the fact that it can be difficult to obtain a source of organic nutrients that can be dissolved in water. As soon as you locate a source, you must confirm that the nutrient levels are sufficient to support plant development. If you're enjoying this video, please leave a like and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on our new videos. So how do we take care of the hydrophonic strawberry plant for max yield? Taking care of a hydrophonic strawberry plant. There are three ways to do this. Pollination, pruning, and fruit rot. Pollination. Bees and other insects can pollinate strawberry plants. Since nature operates in a similar manner, you should aim to follow suit for the greatest outcomes. Cross-pollination is encouraged by pollination, which boosts plant fruit output. Hydrophonically grown strawberries can be pollinated by moving pollen from the male plant's stamen, where it's visible, to the female sections of another strawberry using small paintbrush or cotton swab. Pruning Plants require room to expand, therefore pruning is necessary. Don't worry if your berry brush has developed too many flimsy branches. Just follow these easy steps. Cut a couple stems through at the base. Do not clip them. Remove roughly 25% of the leaves. Even if trimming doesn't considerably affect yield, it will keep your entire garden organized. On stale berries, it can assist in preventing the growth of fungus, which lowers quality. Fruit rot. Any decay on the outside or inside of your strawberry is referred to as fruit rot. Overwatering or having too much fertilizer close to the roots are the primary reasons for this. Your strawberries will taste bitter after eating them as a result. Fortunately, harvesting your strawberries as soon as they ripen will help you avoid these fruit rot diseases. Neem oil applications can aid in the eradication of fruit rot diseases should they develop. What is the best way to handle water? And what temperature should it be at? Make sure your nutrition solution has been properly diluted and that you aren't watering your plants too frequently or seldom. Strawberries are the fruit of the winter. They enjoy a temperature range of 15 to 27 degrees Celsius during their growing season since they do best in chilly environments. Strawberries grown hydrophonically require at least 8 to 12 hours of direct sunlight daily. So if you reside somewhere that receives little sunlight throughout the winter, purchasing artificial lighting such as LED or HID lights is recommended. In that case, how do we know our hydrophonic strawberries are ready for harvest? Harvesting your hydrophonic strawberries At least three quarters of the fruit's surface must have turned from green to red for the berries to be ready for picking. When lightly squeezed, the berries will likewise feel supple and give slightly. To avoid harming the plant, you can collect them by hand or with a pair of tiny scissors. They can be consumed immediately, used in a dish, or kept in the refrigerator for up to a week. Enjoy your tasty strawberries that were cultivated in hydrophonics. Are strawberries grown in hydrophonics vary in flavor? That question has a resounding maybe as the response. When eating fruits or vegetables cultivated hydrophonically, many people detect changes in sweetness, texture, and taste. 
This has to do with the nutrient solution, which varies considerably amongst hydrophonic systems and gives rise to various tastes. One thing is certain. Hydrophonic farming will introduce you to healthy habits and new methods to enjoy your favorite fruit, even if you do not detect any change in taste or chemical composition. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next video. Bye for now.